Hey there spacers, Kato Genesis here, bringing you a guide to the Outer Worlds. This one going over the unique outfit known as the Researcher's Scrubs and Mask. In this no-nonsense guide, I'll be showing you where you can get each piece and what they do for you. Let's go find them. I would like to start the locations section by saying the researchers' scrubs and mask are in completely different locations in the game. So this will take a bit of trekking on your part, but if you're looking for a way to polish off that mad scientist build, I'd call these worth it. For how progression works in the outer worlds, odds are the researcher's scrubs will be first available, so we'll be going for those. When you head to the Groundbreaker, you are directed towards Gladys to get passage to Monarch, but to soften the blow as to how many bits it's going to cost you, she also offers you a lead on a potentially high-paying job, and sends you to Roseway, the Anti-Cleo's station on Terra 2. When you arrive, you'll notice things are kind of in a bad way here. Head into the Roseway communications room and you'll meet Anton Crane, who is quite self-motivated. I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. He will send you to an abandoned lab to retrieve some of his research, in the doom that came to Roseway. You can expect that there is an opportunity to mess this up with him too, because there are many ways to lose his research as well. But if you do bring it back to him, Dr. Crane will give you his thanks and the researcher's scrubs. We'll go into the stats in a little while, and we've got the outfit, now we just have to get the mask, which is a little more complicated. Back on the Groundbreaker, going towards the back of the promenade and to the left, you can find Sublight Salvage and Shipping. As a prerequisite for this, you do need to have passage to Stellar Bay on Monarch for Sublight to even start contracting you. However, once you do have said Monarch passage, head up and speak to Lelia Hagen, the leader of Sublight here. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. The first faction quest for Sublight is actually not the one we need, but a means to an end. So Lilia will send you on a quest called Space Crime Continuum. It is a pretty long quest that involves traveling around a good chunk of the Monarch Wilderness, from Stellar Bay all the way down to Cascadia. However, once you complete Space Crime Continuum and return to her, the next quest she sends you on will be the Ice Palace. This quest is where Lilia sends you to the Heliospheric Research Station 1084, which is otherwise not available for travel. There is some cool backstory stuff here worth uncovering, so I'm not going to spoil that. After you're towards the back or on the north side of the research station, there is an office in here upstairs from the labs, which the objective will lead you to, but across from the desk is a locked door. It requires 100 lockpick skill to open, but if you want the mask, find whatever way you can to get into this door, and inside this room is a safe next to the bed. Get into it and you will find your researcher's mask. That is the long and arduous method in order to get your researcher's scrubs and mask. Now let's go over what they do. Flipping the order around to heads, we start with the researcher's mask. It is a clothing item not providing that much protection, that much I'm sure is expected, it's a scientist getup, but the effect it provides is a 30% increase to the bleed duration effects that you cause, which makes this kind of a combat surgical mask. Now onto the scrubs, which are also quite weak in the defense department, but they give another duration effect, 30% to burn duration you cause. So the researchers scrubs and mask appear to be made for surgical slices and cauterizing short afterwards. I'm sure there's some of you going for a mad scientist build, and this would make Phineas proud, no doubt. So tell me, if you are, what does your scientist build consist of? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this guide useful, entertaining, or both, please do whatever you see fit to show that. Thank you to Wasteland Legends Fen who is supporting me on Patreon, and if you yourself would like to join the supporters on screen, you can do so by checking out the Patreon here or in the description. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the Halcyon Colony like you own it.